what is up guys, PK here, and in today's video, there shall be no funny intro, because today's video is super duper serious like. Nope. Now, as you probably noticed, this video is titled, A Letter to Fat Shark, and that's uh, exactly what it is. Now, first off, I just want to say that nothing I'm about to say and criticize should take away from the fact that Vermintide 2 is an absolutely amazing game that I hold extremely dear. I think what Fat Shark Studios have been able to create with Vermintide 2 is nothing short of astonishing as far as gameplay mechanics go. I absolutely love this game or I wouldn't have been able to dedicate such a significant part of my life slash YouTube career towards it. But I also am left with the feeling that we need more. That Fat Shark need to do better in certain areas. Now the way I look at Vermintide 2 is as an unpolished diamond. An extremely unpolished, but also extremely large and valuable diamond. Now today I want to talk about a couple of things, five things specifically. The recent, and by recent I believe it was Chaos Wastes, shade changes to her ultimate talents. Then I want to talk a little bit about the Chaos Wastes itself. I want to talk about the Deed System, Rework, and Versus Mode. Fourth, I want to talk about the long-term reward systems of the game. And fifth, I want to talk briefly about items and properties. Now, let's start out. Shade changes. Now, if you don't know, I'll give you guys the statement here. This is a quote from Fat Shark. We apologize for the undocumented changes to Carillion's Cloak of Mist and Cloak of Pain in the Chaos Wastes release. These talents were changed so that they could accurately reflect their descriptions as the previous behaviors were unintended. We understand this caused a lot of confusion and needed to be specified in the patch notes be removed. Guaranteed critical strike during stealth from Cloak of Mist the guaranteed critical strike during the secondary phase of stealth from Cloak of Pain. We're keeping a close eye on the reaction to these changes and are approaching them with an open mind, so please be sure to share your thoughts. Will do. This change baffles me beyond comprehension. It's one of those changes where I'm like, I'm left with this feeling. I'm gonna be honest now, I get no hate to anyone on Fat Shark. I love your game, I love your studio, but do any of you actually play the game? Like, it, I, I don't understand it. It's, it's, it, it really baffles me. I mean this with nothing but love, but it, what the actual fuck were you thinking with that change? If you feel like Shade is too OP, I can understand that. There are 10 ways you could nerf her without completely ruining the single only mechanical synergies she has. That, that's what I don't understand. She has this backstab mechanic that allows you to execute minions with, with critical hits from behind. A and then you take away the two only methods by which you can actually use that synergy to your advantage. Maybe instead of 45% cooldown reduction, it could be 25 or even 10 or not at all, actually. Or in regards to the shade uh, ulti, uh, the one with extremely high single target damage, maybe reduce the amount of damage that the initial ulti deals. There are so many ways you could, you could make this a proper balance. But literally, you take away the whole point of both ultis. And I, I just feel like it's such a bad change. And again, I don't mind shade nerfs just because I'm a filthy shade main. But the method by which the nerf has been implemented just echoes that, that you're not playing the class yourself. That, that's what's fun about the class. It's exactly that mechanic of having to care about your positioning in relation to the minions you're attacking, in relation to do you have your invis up so you can get that crit, like, that's the whole mechanism. So I'll voice my concerns here and say, please revert that change, because it makes no sense in my opinion. And my word isn't law. It, by any means, shape, or form. Again, some of this criticism I'm gonna come with in this video comes from a place of lack of knowledge, right? I don't know what it's like to code a game. I don't know what it's like at Fat Shark Studios. 
and I don't claim to have all the correct fixes or opinions or, or options to, to make it better. I, I'm just coming from the standpoint of someone who loves the game, plays the game a lot, and can clearly see flaws in the system. So I just want to make that clear as well. That it's not like I'm on some high horse and think that I have all the right answers, because obviously I don't. But secondly, Chaos Wastes. Huge success on release, in my opinion. It was a great move, as I said in previous videos. It was an amazing move to make it a, a free DLC. But then I feel like it was complete, completely failed to capitalize on the success of said release. There has to be more long-term satisfaction in Chaos Wastes. I feel like it, it is... It feels so arbitrary to play in some uh, circumstances. It's not that it can't be fun, but it very much also can be not fun. For reasons that mostly stem from the fact, in my opinion, again, opinion here, warning, that first of all, you don't get to have pretty uh, awesome weapons until like the last two maps at best. You don't get to purchase, like even, I feel like you have to remove that whole barrier of like the weapon upgrade. Just let us upgrade the max in the beginning, but make it costly, make it a, a value proposition. But, because I feel like it, you get all these, I feel like Chaos Waste, this is what it feels like. Unless you get extremely lucky in the beginning, then I feel like Chaos Wastes is four maps of grinding, in which you hope to, oh, and I finally, I have what I want, now it's over. That's what it feels like most of the time, for me at least. I feel like most of the time, that's the experience I get. It's like, you go through all this whole sequence to get some awesome stuff, and then by the time you get it, it's over. You're done. And there's no rewarding feeling at the end, in my opinion. I feel like one you could do something easy with it, at, at tears, right? You beat an expedition, Okay, let's say I'm playing Shade, I beat the Expedition. Okay, now I can queue a Tier 2 Expedition. I get to keep one boom that I managed to obtain in my first run, and maybe one of my weapons. Just to give one example, which brings me to another thing regarding weapons. You could then do Tier 2 and Tier 3. It could be as easy as doing Kata 2 or Kata 3. There are many other ways you could increase the difficulty, because of course that would be required, right? But that way you feel like there's a little bit of long-term set that you get to keep one at least that you can then queue a completely new game with. With new people, all of whom are queuing a tier 2 expedition. Just to give one example. Right, again, I'm not saying this is the right way, I'm just saying that just one way you could make it more satisfactory. Also, we simply have to be able to reroll the traits and properties on the weapons at trines. And again, that comes back to the problem of not getting red weapons even orange weapons until you're way past the halfway point in the expedition. It's by the time you get the weapon, uh, whatever, right? So I, f I feel like it'd be way better if you could get better weapons earlier, but at a steeper price, and then be able to re-roll them in shrines. Again, for a price. Also, the whole starting coin system should just be set to 200, period, end of story. I feel like that, that's one of those where, where, where I'm just, again, baffled. It's like, it feels like such an arbitrary system, I, I don't see the point, the reward, I, I don't see any bonus in the, the system that's currently there with between zero and 200 and you get one quarter of your previous, no, 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 no. Everyone given 200 from the beginning, period in the story, because uh, it's the worst feeling to start out a run. Hey, there's a boon. Oh, no one can afford it. Great. Even worse. Oh, he can afford it, but I can't just because he happened to have started with 20 coins more than me. No, stop that. 200 coins, everyone, boom. It's balanced. It, that makes sense to me at least. Number three, Deed Systems and Versus Mode. Now this one is tricky, and okay? this one is tricky. I've heard Fat Shark on at least three occasions, personally, where I've watched their streams and where Fat Shark have told us they were gonna do a complete rework of the Deed System. Plans could change, that's okay, okay? Plans could change and that is, that is okay, that is understandable. Uh, like, I'm, I'm sure Fat Shark have good reasons that they haven't done that yet. I'm, I'm sure they have, right? Hopefully they're sitting and working really hard on Dark Tide, and that's okay. My problem is being kept in the dark on this. I, I feel like when you make promises 
such as versus mode, such as a complete rework of the deed system, a and same in regards even all the way back to the dedicated service, which again, I can understand that we didn't get dedicated service, that's okay. But don't leave us in the dark like this. That that's my biggest problem. If you make promises to rework the deed system or for versus mode, like I don't even feel like I want versus mode anymore. I I, I hope you are gonna implement whatever you did make for Vermintide versus into Dark Tide. But I feel like the, the ship has sailed for versus mode in Vermintide. That's my honest opinion. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but that's how I view it. I was hyped about it for the longest time. We were told absolutely nothing, and now I'm just left with this. Well, oh, guess I can't trust anything that's promised, and that's a problem. And again, I, it's not that I don't personally trust what Fatrick say, but I do just wish that if the plans change, then let us know. We want to know. We're all sitting here like, ah, right? And we, we just want to know. Is Verse most cancelled? That's okay. But I'd like to know several locations on which you talked about completely reworking the deed system, which could be done in a multitude of good ways. Also a multitude of low effort, easy to implement ways. I'm not a coder here, but as far as I understand it at least, there, there are things you could do with what you already have that would made it, make it fairly easy to implement in regards to the multitude of modifiers that already exist that could all be put into a mode that, that just makes it a little bit more random, a little bit more fresh, a little bit more exciting, right? Shakes things up a bit uh, with, with combining all of these, a bit like you already have with the weekly, but in a more, sort of in a different manner, right? Where you get these extra deed rewards and perhaps even be able to combine deeds, who knows, right? To, to give us some more fun to play with without having to go to the modded realm all the time. And then there's the long-term reward system. This is the one that plagues me the most, actually. This is probably the one that bothers me the most. It's the fact that it comes across to me as incredibly, seemingly lazy. Again, not saying that it has been lazy on Fat Shark's pocket, and I'm sure there are good reasons for all these things, but it comes across as extremely lazy to the community, I think, in general. Whether or not that's true, Again, I'm sure they're working hard on a multitude of things, but it comes across as extremely lazy that the single only reward that is implemented are frames, arbitrary frames. Completely arbitrary frames. That we grind just to show off, hey, I did this. But really, it's not, it's not what anyone wants. It's not what anyone is hoping for. And I, I like the last time a proper reward was implemented into Vermintide 2 was all the way back when all Chris challenges was made. That's the last time a proper reward system was implemented. That's crazy. When you were doing the whole beat all maps on legend, get this skin, that's the last time I feel like there was a proper reward in place for a challenge. That's like over two years ago. Ever since then, it's been these arbitrary frames that no one wants. Then you get all of these pieces of art and pictures, but you have nowhere to hang them. I have ten times as many pictures as I have places to hang them in the keep. It's just not enough. I'm, I, I, feel, I feel so left behind on this. I love the game of Vermintide, but I also feel like I could love it so much more if I just had something proper to grind, something worth it. And it doesn't have to be complicated. Something as simple as saying, okay, each weapon in the game. You uh, kill 100 rats with it, you unlock uh, this new glowing weapon color on veteran weapons, right? Now you, instead of white, you can have it be uh, a light shade of uh, blue, right? You get 1,000 kills, now you unlock like a darker blue. You get 10,000 kills, now you unlock yellow. You un get 20,000, now you unlock green. You get 100,000, now you unlock red, right? So that there's something of value to grind. Something that says, oh, oh shit, look, that shade over there has red weapons. Oh, that's a proper shade, right? We all know, oh, red weapons, my lord, my lord. We all know this shade knows what she's doing to some degree, right? Because she bothered to grind that red weapon color. And that's something that there's already a mod that can do. So I, I know that it's not something that would be complicated to implement. At least not in principle. And... And you could, I just feel like you could do so much more with these things, just tiny customizations that would just feel so much more rewarding in the long term and make the game feel worth it again. But, right? I, I have 50,000 scrap that I don't know what to do with. Let's say that a thousand scrap and you could upgrade 
your keep so that you had a new placement for a picture I could hang up. Because at this point, I feel like there's so many pictures that I never ever bothered to look at because there's barely room for all the ones I have with a golden frame and then maybe a couple more, right? And that's it. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm left feeling like there's no reward that I actually want in the game. And it's so frustrating because I want to play the game, but it just feels like a cycle when there's nothing, when there's no end point, right? And it frustrates me. I, I know Vermintide is a game that you shouldn't play for the rewards. You should play it for the enjoyment of the gameplay. And I do and I have for the longest time. But it can only take me so far, right? If all we're getting is a new Souls Bio class between now and Dark Tide, then I just, I can't find the... So that the, the, the spark that I need inside to make Vermintide videos all day, every day, I just can't. I've tried, okay? I've tried! And I want to. I, I'm, like, I'm, I'm sitting here thirsting for something new in Vermintide. Thirsting for something, anything that I can like latch onto and go, ah, nice, nice, nice. I want to talk about this and this and this and this and that. But there's nothing! Right? And then a dark child is postponed, which is okay. Again, I made a video about that, talking about that was the right decision. But it's just so, I feel like that could be done so much more with Chaos Wastes, right? And which brings me to item and properties. All these amazing, amazing traits that were implemented into Chaos Wastes could be implemented into the regular gameplay as well. Again, making it feel refreshing. Like something that's tiny, as something you already made all the amazing traits. Now get them into the normal gameplay, please, right? It's like, it would give us so much to talk about. It would shake up the meta. It, like, like, it would just fix all problems in, in like the simplest transition in the universe. Like, take all these things that we already have made, you already have icons for them, get them over here, right? And everyone would lose their mind, right? But in a good way. Uh, sure, some of them might need tiny balance changes, but I think no one in the universe would be mad if you did that. No one, right? Sure, maybe one of them is broken as fuck. We'll figure that out pretty quickly, right? Um, I feel like we all want that. I remember the first time I played Vermintide and I saw all the properties, right? And I was like, wow, wow, power is just this and block cost and health. Wow, the multitude of different ways I can combine this on five different items. And then very quickly you learn just how restricted all of it is, right? There's just how narrow a scope there really is to some of these properties on specific items. And that's okay. But please, Fat Shark. Give us more, we want something, something basic. I lo like, I, I really don't want this video to, to come across as, as, again, me thinking that I have all the right solutions. I love your game. I'd love, in fact, I'm hoping to come visit you, assuming you will let me uh, sometime in the near future when we're going to DreamHack, me and my moderators, and then we're taking a trip to Stockholm. And I would absolutely love to come visit Fat Shark and see what you're doing there. It would be an absolute pleasure and privilege but please, don't keep us in the dark. <laughs> but anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments if you guys agree with me. If you disagree with me, I'd love to hear which changes you think are most prevalent. What you guys would like to see in the game long term. And, uh, and yeah, Fetcher, I love you. Okay, I do. Trust me, I really do. But I had to get this off my chest, okay? And as always, I love you guys. Stay awesome.